Let's take a quick look at how we can go about setting up third-party instruments with multiple outs within Bitwig. So on our first track here, I've got a battery, and battery is capable of multi-outs for each of our drum cells. So let's go ahead and show this device. And we can see on the first couple of rows here, I've got some samples loaded up, but we can only hear the first one. And the reason for this is because if we right click, then we can see for the output, I have this set for our stereo one and two. And so this is gonna be set up by default within Bitwig when we load up our third party instrument. Now, if I come to the second cell and right click, then we can see for the direct out, this is being sent to three and four. Our third cell here is being sent to five and six, all the way through up to our last one here, which is going out on 15 and 16. So we need to add those additional channels in order to hear these other cells within Bitwig. So let's close this device out. And then let's press tab to show the mixer. Now we can see our battery here. We just have that one stereo channel. Now down below in our device panel, we have these couple of different arrows. This is represents our battery four. So we'll click on those and then we have this window where we can add missing chains or add chain. Now if we click on the add missing change chains, this is going to add all available outputs for the battery. So if we show the battery again, and then right click on one of these cells, come to the output and our direct outs, we can see that we have one and two all the way up through 31 and 32 for our stereo pairs. So that's why we have all of these that were added. When we click on this button, it's going to see what is available for that third party instrument and add for those. But we don't need all of those. So we'll click once on the other one there and let's just hold shift and click to select all of these and remove these out. So now we're back as we're started with that one channel. Now what we're gonna do is just click on add chain. And in this way we can specifically tell Bitwig how many we'd like. And we wanna go up to the 15 and 16. So I'll just keep on adding. Okay, now we're up to the stereo 15, 16. And if we open up our battery, we should now be able to see each of these cells on separate channels. Now that we've added those, we have these couple of different arrows, downward facing arrows that show up on this channel. So if I click on this, this expands out and we can see our stereo one and two all the way through to 15 and 16. When I trigger, we can see that these are playing back on the discrete channels. Now we've seen that we can send these pads to the discrete channels by right clicking on the cell and coming to the direct out and then just clicking to select which one we'd like to set this up as. Now this process is going to be different depending on the instrument that you're using. So there's no way that I could cover each one, but we will just take a look at a second instrument, a third party instrument. So I'm gonna press tab to come back to our range view. Let's select the second track, which has a Falcon on that. So if we go ahead and open this up, we can see that I have three different parts and these are going out to, let's change these to the main out. This is what it's gonna be for the default. And I'm gonna change these to be on Omni. So they're gonna receive media information coming in on any channel. Now, when I trigger with my controller, Okay, we can hear all three of these. If we close out the Falcon, let's again tab to view our mixer and we'll collapse the battery. Now we can see at the Falcon, we don't have these double arrows facing down because we just have the one stereo channel. And we can see that activity there when I trigger. Now, again, we can switch by clicking on these right facing arrows to our view for adding chains and we don't want to click on the add missing chains because that's going to add everything that Bitwig sees available for Falcon, but we only need three. So we'll click on add chain, add chain, and then once again to add those three channels. And then now we're still seeing them coming up on the stereo and the main out. Let's open up our Falcon. And then here we need to change from main out. We'll set that to two. This one will set to three. Okay, and then now these are gonna come out 
on the discrete channels. Okay, so that's how you can go about setting up your third-party plug-in instruments for their multiple outs within Bitwig. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next tutorial.